is Ashley and you guys are watching Ashley Epidemic and I am here to talk a little bit with you about my first impressions of X1. Now that X1 has officially come together as 11, I wanted to reveal what my initial thoughts were on each individual member when I first got acquainted to them through the show or prior to the show if I had known them already. I want to preface this by saying that I was a huge Victon fan prior to the show, so I already knew Singwoo prior to this, and I also really enjoyed Unique and Uptension before this as well, so I did have a bit of an image of them prior to all of this that will definitely influence my first impression of them on the show. I also want to mention that I did not watch the first two episodes of Produce X 101 and I watched the third episode actually after I watched the fourth. I did watch the fourth live, but then after that <laughs> I went back and watched three. So let's just go ahead and let's get into my first impressions of X1. Han Sing Woo. I will be completely honest and as an Alice, seeing Sing Woo on the show was heartbreaking when I first found out that they were going to be going and Singwoo was one of the ones who was chosen to participate in the show. I remember very distinctly watching their pre-debut show and my first thoughts about him was who is this lanky thin guy who is incredibly ripped? Why are there so many abs? But that was my first impression of him then. But on the show my first impression was wow they are really toning down how weird Singwoo actually is, but we definitely still got glimpses of the weirdness, especially in one of his pre-show clips. We got to see a little bit of the old Singwoo. Cho Sing Yun. My first reaction was, oh, he is from Unique? You mean the group that brought us the bomb of 2015? It quickly shifted to, why does his hair look like that? But as I was watching the show, very quickly I realized that Sinyeon might be even more of a goof than I ever realized now that I was finally paying attention to him. The fact that so many people considered him a mood maker definitely quickly endeared him in my heart. <laughs> Kim Lusok. Despite him being a member of Uptension, I never would have recognized him if you put him in front of me. Yes, I liked Uptension, but I will admit I never took the time to really get to know the members. I just listened to their music. So when he ended up on the show, I had mixed feelings. On one hand, it was really upsetting to see that Uptension members were on the show because I thought Uptension was doing all right. Like not great, but I thought they were doing okay. So it really made me sad. But also since I didn't really know them, I had no real attachment to them. So when I saw him pop up and he was just killing it, I was proud of that, but I didn't also form any attachment right away, at least not until they tried to pull the entire, Wusok is messing up all the time. And then I was just like, nah, you're not gonna do this to this boy. He is too good <laughs> for y'all to be doing that. Kim Yohan. The first time I saw Kim Yohan, I didn't really get it. I mean, in the behind the scenes stuff, he looks kind of plain. He's not unattractive, 
but he didn't stick out as somebody that was like super attractive and as far as dancing he was good but he wasn't the best as far as singing he was good but he wasn't the best he was good and I didn't get it and then all of a sudden I saw something it was one of the clips and he was just and it was actually him bonding with the other trainees that made it click and then from that moment even though he was never my favorite I could never imagine a team without Kim Johan. I wanted him in this lineup like everybody else. Lee hang -yul. I usually don't torture myself, but I made an exception for Produce X 101, so I didn't have the pleasure of getting to know hang -yul on the unit. The result was that when I first saw him pop up, my immediate reaction was, dang, he looks kind of like Chan Sung from 2PM, and I adore Chan Sung. So that immediately endeared him in my heart, and I was constantly looking out for more glimpses of this guy. And the more that I saw him, the sweeter and funnier he ended up being. He just repeatedly kept endearing himself. And then I noticed how he was an amazing dancer. He did that flip and finesse and I was sold. cha -jino, our lovely sweet cha-cha. When he first popped up, I did notice the shoulders. He's got rather wide shoulders. But actually the first time I really truly noticed him as not just a background player moving around, but as, oh, that's Juno. It was him being a dork. And it was him bonding and being with the others in the dorm and just him kind of letting loose. And out of the practice environment, you really kind of got to see a little bit more of how dorky and cute Junho is and the second that that happened he started to be one of those people that I cared about. Son Dongpyo. At this point I love Dongpyo as the sweet sassy little brother that I wish I had but when I first saw him it was actually before I even sat down and watched any of the episodes and it was from a fan cam particularly from the boss fan cam and as soon as I saw it and I saw him he was just killing it. There was just something to his moves. He wasn't the best dancer, but what he did do with his dancing was that he made these little extra moments and gestures that made everything seem bigger and more grand, which is the talent of a true performer. Some amazing performers are not the absolute best dancer, but they know how to enhance their performances through little actions and little tiny things, facial expressions and movements that can elevate and make their skill look stronger, even if it's not. And Dongpyo does this. He kills it on stage. And from that moment forward, I loved Dongpyo. I supported him and rooted for him. And I'm just completely in awe of how versatile he is, how he can go from cute to strong. And he is a monster performer. It was also why I didn't really understand why he was getting so much hate. He was proving himself time and time again. Like I don't I don't get why people were hating on Dong Pyo at one point. He he's he's amazing. Kang Mini, as much as I love the freckle faced cute little kitten boy that he is, I did not notice him until the pretty girl story. And once I noticed him in the pretty girl story, I was actually intrigued enough by where this guy came out of almost nowhere that I went back and watched previous episodes just to spot him. And he wasn't there a whole lot, but he was there in the background being a meme. And I immediately love this kid. He's hilarious, he's beautiful, he's tall, he has a lovely voice, and I'm just ready for it him to just kill everything and I mean I honestly believe that in a few years and maybe even sooner than a few years like maybe next year he's gonna have that glow up and everybody's just gonna love Minhee like it's gonna happen but seeing him step into this role in Pretty Girl and like 
thrive as this main vocal and be and always being humble about it too he was never prideful about it it's hard not to love this kid E Unsung okay now I'm going to admit when I first saw Unsung I just didn't get it he's a sweet boy he is sweet everybody from what I've heard thinks that he's the sweetest kid ever and I haven't seen anything to the contrary that he is anything but this sweet kid. He's a good performer. He's not the best performer, but he's really good. But because of that, I just never understood it because he was so highly ranked and there were other people that were not getting as much recognition that were performing even better. And I was just a little bit sad because I just didn't understand. Now, obviously, I didn't hate him. That's impossible. Unsang is a sweetheart, like I mentioned. I just didn't fully get it right off. But then we had the wonderful moment between Unsang and Wusuk. You know, the infamous Preaky incident. And he did start to endear myself because I saw him as more of a person and less of just this performing thing and it once he started to become humanized I started to love Unsang. Song Hyungjun. Now let me just mention that I adore Hyungjun and I have from the moment I laid eyes on him. He's adorable and he's precious and he's a great dancer. Um, he definitely has room for improvement but he has shown so much skill and he's just he has a flair. He has a flair for knowing how to catch people's attention on stage, and he's really good at it. I mean, I just wanted to protect him, and I wanted him to thrive. As time went on, I just saw how much more and more talented he actually is. Nam Dohyun. Dohyun is already a giant baby, and he's the giant magne, and he is going to get even bigger, I, I, I'm sure of it. He's 14 years old right now. And he's just gonna get bigger. I, I, he's gonna be the tallest <laughs> in the group. I'm calling it right now. But immediately I was shocked by how talented he was. He isn't the best rapper, but he is an insanely good rapper. And the fact that he had been doing it for so little time before the show started really lent that he has so much room to grow and to become just super amazingly talented also him playing piano and you can definitely tell that he loves music and i'm really excited to see in the future if he starts going the producer route and starts creating things more and more and i would really love to see what he does because i think he has so much potential and so much talent already on his side and so that is x1 and those are my thoughts on how they how they first had impressions on me and I love X1 and I'm really excited to see where they will be going in the future but yeah let me know who stood out to you first and drew you in with X1 for me outside of the people that I already knew it was Dong Pyo but I'm curious who caught you first I'll see you guys next time bye